It's a busy weekend, and Mary Ann Smith Cheap says there's lots to do. The hardest thing is going to be deciding where to go and when. Well, I know you better wear your walking shoes this weekend. Um, the Southern Festival of Books goes on uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday downtown at Legislative Plaza, and spills over into the library and into some of the meeting rooms at the at the at the Capitol. Um, but it is one of the things that I think newcomers and people who are locals all love. It's just really one of the biggest literary events in the whole country. Uh, it, it's it's 200 authors over the three days, and a lot of people think it's just you know these esoteric se you know sessions and panels. But it's all sorts of fun stuff uh, in addition to those sessions and panels. There there are children's activities. There's music. Um, and one thing I like is that there's a used book sale. Oh, nice. It is an opportunity, too, to meet the authors of some of the books that you've loved and hear what went into writing them. Uh, you know, some of the panels, I think, are just fascinating. Well, they are. And it's, um, you know, some people think that it's just Southern authors, but it's, you know, one of the organizers said, well, it's called the Southern Festival of Books, not the Festival of Southern Books. So it's, you know, it's, it's all books. But there are people like Rick Bragg and there are uh, Geraldine Brooks, um, Pat Conroy. All of them are going to be part of it. And it's totally free. You can just uh, look at the schedule, see what sessions you want to go to, and just, just show up. That's wonderful. If you like music, this is a great weekend to see some terrific music for free. Right. This is the, the Skirmerhorn uh, Symphony Free Day of Music. They do this once a year. This is the tenth time they've done it. And uh, it's, it's just great, you know, to go hear the symphony in the symphony hall, the beautiful symphony hall, for free, a full concert. It's at, it's at 12 o'clock, is that the whole day runs from 11 until 9 at night. And they've put together a really diverse um, mixture of music. In addition to hearing the symphony, um, you could hear the Nashville Philharmonic. There's a, the Chinese Arts Alliance has a, has a show. There's a mariachi band from Glencliff High School and some other schools. I mean, it's the music is all over the place. There, there are five stages. I think there are 24 acts. I mean, it's, it's really a wonderful day to, to experience um, all kinds of music, but, you know, the you can just go pick your seat in the symphony hall. Isn't I mean, you can wonderful? sit in the box. I mean, have a Miss Cheap in a fancy. box. <laughs> I yeah. may dress up. <laughs> and great for the children, too, to get to experience the instruments up close, Right. Too. They have a, an instrument petting zoo for the kids. Um, they have some, some special music um, with with uh, uh, musicians that are in tune with the children, for sure. That's great. We talked about Oktoberfest earlier in the week, but we want to remind folks that starts today. Or, sorry, tomorrow. Well, it's Friday night and then all day Saturday and Sunday. Um, you know, it used to just be one day and it used to be two festivals but they've really gotten their act together it's two stages of music with uh, with authentic german music on one and all kinds of other music and again free 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 i love it that's great you can get that vip pass that we talked about on tuesday but uh, yeah great free opportunity for you mary thanks so much thanks stay cheap all right